in collaborative groups. Doing the work is where real collaboration can happen and be effective. Collaboration isn't something that can be made to order and provided on demand like a meal. It is more like a delicate flower which requires the right conditions in a healthy system to flourish. Effective groups resources cover all the essential areas of group life which need to work well, like a natural system, to create the right conditions for people to collaborate effectively, because lots of collaboration can be very ineffective. So, what does this look like? People approach their work with a general spirit of cooperation, rather than trying to be controlling or competitive. Differences between people are dealt with constructively, there is a willingness to tolerate differences between people. And more than that, a curiosity about what can I learn from different points of view. When there are differences, people seek common ground and build on that to find a way forward, to find a compromise, rather than focusing on getting their way. For example, imagine a football team where everyone is playing to the peak of their ability. Here's the areas covered by the effective group's resources which need attention in any organisation. There is a clear direction. They know where they are going. Trying to score a goal. It wouldn't be much good without that. They know how to fit into their environment and are in the right place. On a football pitch with fans watching, it wouldn't be much good if they were trying to play in a swamp or on a high street. There is a referee with very clear rules of the game and they play in their positions according to their strengths and skills, which enables the game to be played smoothly and people do their best. I played a huge game of football with some anarchists once, and it was chaos. There were no edges to the pitch, and a huge swarm of people kept following the ball around everywhere. There are clear and effective group norms and rules shared by both teams, which enables them to play you don't see people pulling their pants down or taking a phone call in the middle of the game. The players train and study to keep fit and improve their game. All of these things enable a team to play with a spirit of cooperation and achieve a common goal, win the game. Without any of these, this would be difficult to achieve. Good meeting processes and people who are skilled at facilitating collaborative processes are tragically lacking in many of these groups. Some examples of tools from the resources to help here include a clear meeting structure process. A template is provided in the resources. Good facilitation skills for meetings, which can take time to learn, are worth the time. Clarifying tasks and roles. Again, it may take time to decide this, but it saves time in the long run if this is clear. Also, to clarify what bits need to be checked with the rest of the group, and what bits don't. The tools and the rest of the areas enable collaboration to flourish.